Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we are back here in the fish room for another video. And we've kind of been going back and forth like pond video, tank video, pond video, tank video. I'm just trying to mix things up, keep it interesting. I don't want to have like four pond videos in a row. So today I've got another tank video for you. And also for anyone that doesn't know, I'm trying to upload every Tuesday and Friday at this point. I know this past week we kind of got off schedule, but I'm going to be aiming for Tuesdays and Fridays. So you guys can hopefully expect videos on those days. But anyway, today we have a few things we need to do. And I want to start off just by showing you guys the the baby hybrid cichlids because they are growing quite a bit there's like one or two in here that are like huge compared to the others i think there's one right there above that middle rock like they're all still tiny but there are definitely a few that are outgrowing everyone else in case you're new to the channel and do not know these baby hybrid cichlids are the children of my blood parrot cichlid kobe and my convict cichlid killer and those two fish combine to make these and i'll have a picture of what these look like full grown it's called a polar blue convict cichlid there's a few different names for them but it's something along those lines they are super cool looking and we've got about 20 25 in this little grow out tank right now And the main thing I want to do today is upgrade this little two and a half gallon tank to a 10 gallon tank Which is this size right here and they don't necessarily need a bigger tank like right now But I think it's better to upgrade too early than too late So I figure might as well just do it now But before we can start setting up their new tank I actually have to go get their new tank. It's over at my buddy Miles's house He was borrowing it for something. I think he had to quarantine a fish So real quick we are going to run over to his house to pick up that 10 gallon tank and then while we're over there I I think I'm also going to give you guys an update on this pond because his dad recently made some really cool changes to it and then we can come back here and start setting up our new grow out tank. So I'll see you at Miles's. Alrighty guys so we are now over at Miles's and before we head inside to grab the 10 gallon tank I do want to show you guys the mini pond that we built last year. First of all I just got to say it is looking amazing. All these plants have grown in so nicely especially the ivy it's actually starting to climb the wall. But you can also see there's a lot of new stuff going on here. First of all this is a completely new fountain and if you remember last year we like didn't really have have a real filter we pretty much just wrapped a filter pad around the pump and called that a filter but miles's dad went ahead and bought an actual filter box and i don't want to pull it up out of the pond right now but it's an actual filter box like it's a big container with a filter pad going over it and then a pump in the bottom of it with some like biomedia in it as well so it's a real filter this time and also if you take a look over there his dad actually took an old horn and made water come out of it like that right there is an actual instrument and i guess he just has a pump down there somewhere and ran the tubing back into the horn and then he built like a little cabin thing right there i think that's an old chair that he used so there's a lot going on here oh and there's also a drum as a flower pot so in case you can't tell miles's family is super into instruments and music so it's really cool to see that incorporated in the pond and yeah this is just looking awesome and i'd say now that there's an actual like filter in this pond it's probably a lot more suitable for fish than it was last year so with that being said drop some ideas down in the comments on what kind of fish we should put in this pond but yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that now we're gonna head inside and grab our tank all right guys so here is my 10 gallon tank that I was letting Miles borrow. That's what our baby hybrid cichlids are going to be going in. And now we're going to get our 10 gallon tank all loaded up. But on our way home, I am going to make one more stop, which I'll explain in just a sec. But after that, we'll be home setting this thing up. Alrighty guys, so I actually decided to stop at the pet store on my way home because a couple videos ago, I got some ghost shrimp to feed my American cichlids. And if you guys didn't watch that video, here's a spoiler. My pike cichlid ate all but one of those ghost shrimp. And someone left a comment on that video telling me that I should have dropped in all the shrimp at the same time instead of just one at a time so that all the other cichlids can have a chance to get one as well. So I decided I want to try that. So I went and picked up five more ghost shrimp. But you guys know me, whenever I see a fish that I like, sometimes I just have to get it. And that definitely happened here today. This right here is called a Farloella catfish, aka a twig catfish, and you guys can see why. It literally looks like a stick, and I had heard of these before. I had never seen one in person though, so when I saw that the store had them, I just had to pick one up. I'll talk to you guys a bit more about this guy when we get home, but that's not the only thing we got. A while back, we got a dwarf crawfish for my 55 gallon tank, and I told you guys in that video, if he does well in that tank, then I'll come back and get another one, and we got another one. I don't know. I just saw him and had to have him. Sometimes that just happens to you, boy. But we're gonna get all these guys home. We're gonna get the crawfish and the Farloella catfish acclimating in the 55. Then we're gonna feed the cichlids those ghost shrimp. And then we're gonna start setting up that 10 gallon grow out tank for the baby hybrid cichlids. I'll see you at home. Alrighty guys, so right away, I just wanna get our dwarf crawfish and our twig catfish in there to start acclimating. And yeah, while we're letting them acclimate, just a bit more information on that twig catfish. From what the worker at the store told me, they are a friendly community fish with a herbivore diet. So it's gonna eat a lot of algae 
algae and I'll probably also drop in some algae wafers for it. That's what I saw online to feed them. Basically from what I know they're pretty similar to a Placo. Not quite as hardy and sturdy as a Placo and also not as messy as a Placo which we've talked about several times on this channel. So to me it seems like it's just going to be a cooler and overall better kind of Placo. <laughs> There's another look at him right there. Honestly he kind of reminds me of like a shovel nose sturgeon. Either that or a gar. But yeah cannot wait to see him in this tank. But now we are going to get right into this ghost shrimp feeding. Oh snap. See that thing gave us some guppies in here. I didn't even ask for those but thank you. We got like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six guppies in here. Jeez, these cichlids are about to get a full course meal. So I'm going to dump all these shrimp and guppies into this net. I'm gonna open up this lid and here we go. Oh, oh I definitely saw Kobe get one. Oh, I just got one. I think the green terror down there just got one. Kobe's chasing a guppy right now. Okay, that was very quick and I only see like one guppy in here. <laughs> oh, I just got something up there. Oh, and again. So yeah, I definitely saw Kobe get something. Oh, oh, the fire mouth just got the shrimp. You guys see that? The fire mouth just got that ghost shrimp. Oh, look at him. I hope I got a good shot of that. Oh, look at that. The green terror has the ghost shrimp in his mouth. Oh, he killed it. Oh, snap. My man is donezo. Oh. The green terror is running off with it. Killer's chasing him. He's got it in his mouth. Oh my gosh, that is the last fish in this tank I expected to get one. He can't even fit. Oh my gosh, they're fighting over it. Bruce, leave him alone, bro. Man, he is not giving up on that shrimp. Look, he's still got it, and everyone's trying to steal it. Oh, wait, I think Bruce did steal it. Oh, man. Good try, buddy. All right, well, that definitely did not disappoint. I know Kobe got something. I know Ike got at least, like, three or four. I think the Firemouth got one, and then the Green Terror almost had one, but Bruce bullied it out of him. But yeah, that was definitely a good idea. But now we're going to give these guys just, like, five more minutes to acclimate. And in the meantime, I'm going to take our 10-gallon tank and rinse it down real good and also get all that gravel out of there. And then I'll pick the camera back up when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so the 10 gallon has been rinsed. But before we start setting that up, I do want to get our new dwarf crawfish and twig catfish into the 55. First things first, I am going to feed our fish just so they're distracted and a bit less inclined to go after our new buddies. So there we go. And first I've got the dwarf crawfish right here. Oh, just went right past the angelfish's face. And he's chilling right down there on that plant. We've got our other dwarf crawfish right there, maybe coming over to say what's up. And now we've got our twig catfish right here going in. Oh my gosh, he is cool. Oh my gosh, look how thin he is. Yo, that is actually crazy. Look, and he's already sucking on that rock. That is wild looking. On oh, down here, our two dwarf crawfish are about to meet. That one on the right is mine. His name is Buzz. And speaking of that, drop some names down below for our new dwarf crawfish, as well as our new twig catfish. Oh, angelfish, you better leave him alone. He is not food. He is a friend. There you go. Good boy. But yeah, there's one last look at him, and then one last look at our new dwarf crawfish. Definitely some awesome pickups. But now we can get started setting up the new 10 gallon grow out tank for the baby hybrid cichlids. This right here is the filter we're going to use for this new 10 gallon grow out tank. This is a sponge filter which is completely air powered. So we just take the other end of this tubing and plug it into our air pump and then we'll just plug that in when the tank is full. So now we're going to fill the tank up. Alrighty guys, and the tank is full. I used five gallons of brand new clean water and then two and a half gallons of their like old tank water that they were already in. And then two and a half gallons of water from the 75 gallon tank. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the air pump and our filter is running. And I figured just putting their old tank in the new tank and then slowly like scaring them out would be the best way to do it. I don't wanna deal with netting them out. So I'm gonna try tipping the tank over. All right, we've almost got it completely turned over. And once we do, they should start making their way out. And. And there we go. So now I think I'm just gonna give them a sec, see if they wanna leave on their own. Oh, yep, we got a couple coming out already. But while we're letting them come out, I do want to grab out this bag of Biomedia out of my 55 gallon filter and put that in this tank because at the moment, this tank does not have any beneficial bacteria in it. There might be like a small amount in the sand and rocks that were in there before. And I usually use some kind of bacteria starter, like a bottled chemical, but I am out of that at the moment. So I just threw in that beneficial bacteria from the 55 gallon and that should be just fine and it looks like quite a few of the babies are already out of the old tank we even got one over there so we're gonna give them a bit more time then we'll check back in on them 
Alrighty guys, all the babies left the old tank, so I went ahead and took it out. But I did take the rocks out of the old tank and I left them in there. I made a little cave right there. And then I put a couple more over there. And then as they get a bit bigger, I'll probably add some other hides that they can go in. But now that they're in here, you can get a much better look at them. You can see on some of the bigger ones, like they're already starting to get some black spots. So that's awesome. We got a couple more over here. Yeah, there's a couple big ones right there. So as you can see, that is a major upgrade. Literally four times bigger. So I think they're going to appreciate the extra space. And yeah, that one right there is the biggest one i'm sure you guys know which one i'm talking about you see him he's getting big fast so of course i will keep you guys updated on the baby cichlids as they grow as we move them to even bigger tanks and i will also keep you updated on our new dwarf crawfish and our new twig catfish so that pretty much is going to wrap up this video we got the new grot tank set up we fed the cichlids some more shrimp and guppies and i didn't even expect to get a new dwarf crawfish and twig catfish today but hey that's what happened today's comment of the day goes out too and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video. down the neighborhood, oh my gosh.